It is time for the Hubnut fleet update for May. We're a bit late, we're running out of May, but uh, here's what's going on at the moment. Sherrard is back in the unit. We've got some issues. We're um, awaiting some brake parts, brake sliders. Um, we're, we're really struggling to get hold of the rubber bushes. I've ordered some pins from Autodoc. I'm really, really hoping that the right pins and failing that, that the rubbers can be used on these calipers. So they're, they're knocking about, sounding a bit untoward. So. Uh, yeah, we're, we're having to wait to get that sorted. We just cannot get bits for this car locally. Uh, the Smart, I was hoping to work on today to replace the breather pipe. Uh, there's an issue there, I might as well show you what's going on. Uh, swap the camera. There we go. Uh, this breather pipe, uh, I was hoping to just replace the valve on it, but I'm gonna have to replace the whole pipe. But as you can see, it goes off down here. And because I've got air conditioning, there is absolutely no access whatsoever. So I'm gonna to have to lower the subframe again. I don't think I've got to lower it very far, but uh, as it stands, absolutely no access at all. Not very helpful. Uh, some people were thinking this was the brake, um, uh, brake vacuum for the uh, servo, but no, this is an engine breather. This is the top breather pipe. I think this one may be the brake servo. It's hard to tell, there are pipes everywhere, but this is really hard. And, brittle there's no way i'm going to be able to open that up enough to get the new valve in so i'm going to have to replace the whole pipe and uh, i'm thinking i might as well just replace it with rubber rather than plastic um, also got some hose once i find it to replace this fuel regulator pipe which just comes down to the inlet here it's only a tiny little pipe but the one that was on the car was in a terrible state and had gone very very soft and i think it was not helping with our performance woes so smart, still out of use, but I have now got another um, thing fitted here, another clip. So the roof is finally um, fitting correctly. So minor progress. And the Matiz is sat here for no greater reason than, uh, I'm actually not enjoying driving it at the moment. She's not driving very well. And uh, really, really unsure what the future of this car is, to be honest. Need to try work out what to do. Uh, Blingo is still at the back. What the Blingo is actually waiting for is it needs um, some more welding. Uh, we found some rot where the um, subframe connects and uh, completely hidden under that rubberized um, protective coating. So, you know, MOT man didn't see it because you just can't um, see there was anything there until you start prodding and realize that the rubber coating is all that's there. So that needs a big welding job and we can't afford that at the moment. So Bella is just parked up. Poor Tuck is just waiting for a moment of freedom to come out, but really she needs a load of work as well. But uh, I think one thing we need to do is get less projects. Of course, the Mitsubishi Pajero, pictured here, is um, not even here. It hasn't even made it back here yet because we haven't got room for it. So Project Tidy Up uh, was started, but we've still got an awful long way to go to that. And then maybe we can get the Pajero in here and uh, yeah, that would improve things. Uh, yes, here's, here's my new valve. So this is my new valve, if we blow this way, nothing goes through. Blow this way, it does go. So that one-way valve is working. This is the one that came off, which I snapped off. And uh, yeah, that one not doing so well. And then this is the uh, hose I, I took off. It's all just really, really squishy. And I think as soon as there's any sort of vacuum, I think it's just pinching that pipe closed. So not good at all. What else have we got to talk about? Oh yes, we've got Ellie the 2CV. In fact, I've just done a very tiny job on Ellie the 2CV. Um, thanks to Matt Softtops who made this roof. Uh, I lost her original strap, but now I've got another one, which means because of this here, I can now have the roof in the Sedanka position, the Sedanka de Ville. It, it was a body style briefly popular when rich people wanted to torment their chauffeurs and the chauffeurs sat in the open while the rich people sat in the back and smoked cigars in the dry. But uh, quite useful because you can just pop the roof back, you can do it in traffic, pop the roof back, enjoy a bit of sunshine and then just pop it forward again if the weather turns inclement. In Wales, Surely not, but otherwise, yeah, Ellie's running really nicely. We're going to be using Ellie to go to Pembrokeshire Classic Car Show this very weekend on Saturday. So if you're going, we'll hopefully see you there. Already got the matching deck chairs packed, so uh, 
we are good to go. The, the other vehicle not here, obviously, is Betty, the Ford Fairmont AU. She's been doing huge mileage. We uh, obviously did Bewley, and then we went down to uh, Sussex uh, last weekend to go and see family. And uh, so Betty has probably done a thousand miles in the past couple of weeks. And uh, I've been getting in the realms of 29 MPG on that trip. It's amazing. If, you, if you're just doing motorway cruising and keeping the speed down to about 60, 62, um, she actually sips the juice comparatively. Obviously, it's not sipping the juice compared to this lot, all my economical little cars here, but she does offer a great deal more comfort and refinement, so it's a price worth paying. But yeah, the rear shocks are making such a difference to how that car drives. And that does raise a problem, really. But I'm, I'm always looking for a car to kind of take the mileage off Betty, uh, the AU. And uh, Bella was meant to be doing that, of course, and has taken 18,000 miles off the AU. But at what cost? That car is a constant stream of needing repairs. And uh, even when I fork out for all this welding work, we know she still doesn't run right. There's definitely still a running issue of some sort, but I haven't got to the bottom of at all. So yeah, trying to work out what to do. Rather too many projects, as usual, and uh, just trying to, yeah, work out the best, best strategy ahead. I was even thinking, briefly, dark, dark moments. Do I get a Dacia Jogger on finance? But uh, don't worry, I won't be doing that, because the idea of having a car sitting around, costing me money every day, even when it's not moving, in sheer depreciation, not very appealing. And uh, again, we got the same problem, that I'd buy it to take mileage off Betty, which means Betty's then sitting around. And as expensive as Betty is to run, I don't think having her sitting around not being used, especially in the Welsh climate, is a very good idea. It's not very good for any car. So, um, yeah, a bit of a quandary. I've got myself stuck with Betty, really. Um, I don't want to not use her because it's not very good for her. But using her is obviously associated with quite high fuel consumption, but not very much in the way of repairs, I must admit. Uh, I think I've now done 40,000 kilometers in Betty, which is about 27,000 miles, I think. And uh, I can't say I've had to fork out a lot on repairs. She's been remarkably good so far. So yeah, a bit of a quandary. But when you're a YouTuber, it's so easy to get carried away and just end up with more projects than you can actually handle. It happens to an awful lot of us and uh, then you lose focus. It's really hard to keep on with one project. So uh, I think I've fallen into that trap a little, but uh, that's where we are um, with the uh, members of the fleet at the moment. We haven't had a chance to go away in Bob at all, and my health is still quite <coughs> questionable. Uh, my lungs are still not in great shape, and I still don't know what's wrong. I've been ill for like a month now, and it's not showing any signs of massive improvement i think i've just had a cold on top of it which made it even worse but uh yeah it's proven a real struggle I'm trying to make these videos trying to talk uh yeah it is hard and uh yeah it it's proving a real struggle but uh, nonetheless i've made it to the end of this video i think so i shall say thank you very much for watching uh, as ever thanks for your continued support especially channel members and patrons it means so much to us. Thanks to those who have supported us through the store as well. We've been um, running a bit unsurprisingly with all the illness and everything and going away. We're running a little bit behind, but I think we're now back on top um, of the store. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in a future video. Bye. Maybe not so smart.